Solo trips are the best experiences to travel because we are coming out of our comfort zone and pushing ourselves to enjoy the world in our own way. But in Japan, most of the foreigners feel discomfort to travel because of language barrier problem. Today we are heading towards Marunouchi where it is approximately 5 minutes walkable distance from Tokyo station and office is located in Mitsubishi building for booking tickets on spot and it costed me approximately of 2300 we can get online tickets for cheaper price of 1000 yen in clock website we also provided headset, pamphlet and guidelines of route map hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to japan and wanted to explore tokyo and this is one of the best sightseeing week without any guidance and language barrier problem this is kind of an open the Ticket bus, mainly called as an hop on hop off bus because we can get down get in anyway at scheduled dead places within 24 hours of same day. The courses are available with three routes green course, blue course, red course. Here staff are very friendly and if we don't know Japanese also they are guiding in English and whenever we get in, in a bus we need to uh, scan the ticket. As you can see this bus is very neat and clean. This is the top view of the bus. As there is no reservation, so I choose middle left corner seat. I chose blue course first and these are the places we will be covering. I started my journey at 10 30 a.m. Eventually I will be covering green course and red course. These are the locations which I will be covering in the afternoon session. There are two buttons, left one and right one. Left one is a volume change and the right one is a language change. In this automated device, they explain each and every destinations and the history of the Japan. Finally, we to the first destination that is Tokyo Tower before they called as Radio Tower and which is approximately of 1090 meters. Mainly, we have two decks. One is at 150 meters and second one is at 249.6 meters. This is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Tokyo. Next place is skyscrapers. These are the tallest buildings which are approximately of 100 to 150 meters. These buildings are famous for the visitors to get a best view of in Tokyo. There are a lot of such buildings which are used for restaurants, meals, hotel screens and many others. Next is Tsukiji Outer Market. This is one of the biggest fish markets in Japan and will be different varieties of fishes. I got down here to explore the Tsukiji market and to grab my two clients but could not find any Indian restaurants in India. So head to Tsukiji where I can find the Indian restaurant but hopefully I can come up the Japanese products and in the restaurants but if I was not happy with. Finally I found one of the Indian restaurants which is famous for Karnataka dishes that is Bangera Kitchens. I ordered full meals where they provided me two to three different kinds of Indian curries and chapati and after finishing my lunch I routed back to Red Coast with the same destination place. In each and every stop there was a map guide where it was heading to which all the places we can cover and routed back to Red Coast. Tokyo station is a railway station and this is the only city in the world bending history, tradition, culture, art, science, business and advanced technology. And I spotted this big TV screen where they were different all Disney characters and pictures. And I headed towards Shinjuku uh, and found this beautiful Shinjuku Royal National Park. This is one of the largest parks in Tokyo and it is best place to visit in autumn season and also in the cherry blossom season. Due to time constraint, I am unable to cover multiple places, but I am covering only the main places in Tokyo. Next is Rainbow Bridge. It is also known as Suspension Bridge and main place for the tourist attractions where you can enjoy the pleasant view and the weather of the hotel. This bridge is located in Odaiba area, which is approximately 5 km south of the Tokyo, and headed back to the destination uh, to head back to the Green Coast. It was around 4 pm and weather was too cold and chill so I took inside the seats where they have provided the heat generators inside and makes us comfortable and makes our body warm. Next place we are looking to one of my favorite places that is Tokyo Sky Park. It is the tallest tower in Tokyo at 630 meters. It has two enclosed decks which are located at height of 350 and 450 meters making them the highest observation sets in the town. These books are also called as Tempo Dix and Tempo Garibu. I have captured. I have captured some of the beautiful moments and my favorite cooking. Instead of daisies, 
the night will be so beautiful and pleasant because the cool breeze is flowing on different colors of light on the road the color of the sky turns from blue to black which makes the day perfect perfect that's the end of the course where i'm heading back to my home and if you like the video please like share subscribe and thanks for watching till the end